Brother, Sister Mello, what's going on with your Brother Wisdom? <laughs> you know, um, one of the uh, subscribers sent a uh, message on the last video uh, regarding these orc beings and how they try to uh, get um, them to uh, go down beyond the the clouds into whatever area they were in um, to heal their people because their people were dying. And the subscriber said they smelled the stench of death. And <laughs> the subscriber said, I can't go down there and I can't heal them. And the, you know, I'm, and, and, they, and, and the subscriber walked away um, in, in that dream. And this is the grim reality of what's going on right now. Uh, I talked to a sister uh, who's also subscribed uh, at my workplace and said that uh, that was a co-worker of hers. She worked, you know, within the governmental area. And this co-worker, who's an orc being, was in meditation and he saw his grandmother and grandfather who during the time they died they lived in the area where there were crystal mines and said that uh, he saw them and they mentioned her name and in his meditation a crystal uh, a quartz crystal dropped on the floor and he looked up and he went and gave it to her so <clears throat> She was really perplexed about this, but she was like, you know, what does this mean? And, you know, I explained to her, I said, you know, you got to realize that in these beings are dying. And right now they're dying rapidly in the astral realm. The astral realm, realm is the spiritual realm. This is where we all reside. If you're dying in the spiritual realm. Then in the physical realm, you're going to be dying even faster. And this is what's happening to them. Um, and what they're doing is they're literally trying to make an amends with us by giving us tokens, by trying to draw us to them, to, you know, to try to heal them, to help them out, you know, um, trying even, even now how they're, they call themselves trying to be nice to us. You know, and the it, this it, it goes on and on and on, you know, with them. And there is no hope for them whatsoever. There is no hope for these orc beings. There is nothing for them that is going to save them from the destruction that they created all over the cosmos and the different universes and the different galaxies where they visited before they came and settled here on our planet. They don't understand the magnitude of the destruction that they caused in the last 6,000 years all over the cosmos. Yes, they have to be destroyed, but yet still, their creators which is, which is no longer Zeus. Zeus is, has, is no longer a creator of them. He created them at first. They want to say it was Yaku, but Yaku didn't, didn't create these beings, not here. They, 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 have, they had to try to get, people, get our people to believe that we created them here on the planet, but it was Zeus who actually did it and not, uh, and not Yaku. Yaku was also a scientist, but he didn't create them. So their creators are their own species now who are creating them. And they're finding different ways to, to create their own beings. And I told you, you know, as I was in the astral realm and I realized that I was in the Epsilon universe. It came to me so clearly when I woke up this morning, I said, oh, 
I was in the Epsilon Universe. And this is where they're being created right now, in the Epsilon Universe, which is like several, several light years away from the Alpha Universe, which means they're really deep. And before they make it back to our planet, everything that's been recreated and rebuilt all over the all over the uh, the other universes and the other realms well we've got to get ready for the next wave of these uh beings who's going to cause destruction so yeah we're no longer creating them zeus is no longer zeus repented of that zeus backed off zeus is sitting back and uh, uh and he's actually making weapons that will enhance our bodies because you know he, he really feel bad for what he for what he created he created a species now that is is, is really hard to destroy and 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 it's a, it's 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 a it's a um concern among the highest realms of the cosmos how do you destroy these beings when they're hiding in the gallows and in the shadows of different universes and 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 realms and and they're hiding in galaxies uh unknown uh to 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 many and they're um causing havoc and they're creating their own and they're recreating themselves and they're cloning themselves so by the time their body dies that clone has, has come alive and they've put their consciousness in that clone and this is happening this is the real this is the real deal but right here on our planet in our dimension in our realms these beings are trying to get us to save them that's why they're 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 constantly pushing out this agenda with us uh, uh mating with them us being a uh, a uh, uh, a friend of them you know this they they're constantly pushing that agenda you know because they need they need the energy from us in order to save them so just know that these beings their death in the astral realm of our universe and our galaxy uh is the 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 complete uh, uh noti no notification of the death on our planet and they're dying you're watching them and their bodies are breaking down and you know they don't know what to do they're battling with each other and fighting with each other and and and, and they're literally destroying each other um trying to stay alive trying to keep something that doesn't belong you know they're trying to keep something that that i'm, I'm sorry that doesn't belong to them you know and th and this is this is what they're doing so you know we've got to see the true reality of everything because very soon my people there will be no more orcs on the planet and we will not and i'm telling you this now we will not carry on their system that they created i don't care how many brothers and sisters want to talk about this we would not carry on this the system that they created we will destroy this system as we are destroying it now and as they are destroying each other now as we speak you know so um they're they're trying to save themselves in the, in the astral realm because the astral realm is the spiritual realm and if they're dying spiritually then their physical bodies will not be able to sustain the spiritual death which means that if your spirit is dead, then your body is even deader than your spirit. And like I said, they're gonna continue to try to be with us. They wanna they wanna have sex with us and be around us and be friends with us and be be uh, uh, be everywhere in in our presence because we bring life to them. This is why we must separate ourselves from them, even them who are in their own communities with nothing but them. They're trying to welcome us in their communities because they need the energy of the original people to save them. They're dying. They're dying and they know it. 
This is why they were in the uh, in the in the uh, in the, ash, in the astral realm trying to get the keys from the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper holds the keys to life. <laughs> That's what the gatekeeper holds as a very special key, and it's, it's the keys of life that that and 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 they want to get the keys of life, not so much the owner of 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 of. Uh, ruling over the realms it was more so of uh trying to get hold get a hold of something so special the keys of life the life power energy keys of life <laughs> so just know that everything that you're seeing right now that's going on in the astral realm Concerning these orc beings, it's all valid. All this is valid. And this is why we're returning so rapidly to power. You see that money is disappearing. You know, everything is, is, is coming to an end that they created. And we're gonna watch this. A lot of our people uh, don't want to see this. They say, oh, I'll, I'll be dead. I was like, okay, why would you want to die? You know, some of our people are so asleep in the system, you know, oh, before money goes away, I'll be dead. Why would you want to die? Because you feel like you can't live without this illusion? Because you feel like you can't have a sense of power or life without something fake in your possession? Something for us, for us uh, uh, people of Melon to think about. How so many of our people are, 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 are so caught up in this system. They can't see. They can't do anything. They, they, they're, they're lost in a, in a, um, in a life that doesn't concern them. So, just wanted to um, embark on the, the astral realm how these beings are um are um flowing in the astral realm coming to us trying to get salvation trying to stay alive and they're dying they're dying by the numbers the babies are dying uh, are dead in the wombs of these orc beings <laughs> And this is like 80% of their babies are dead in the womb because the spirit realm amongst them is dying. And when the spirit realm is completely quiet, we will watch these beings drop dead as they're walking. They'll be driving and and this this is the story of the left behind this is the left behind thing people are just driving and and dying or whatever because who's going to be left behind us we people of melanin we are the only ones who are going to be left behind because they're going to pass on and once that once that spirit realm has died with them because you got to remember that they're artificial intelligence they're not nature so the as the 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 uh the the energy of our galaxy and our universe and our planet rises and builds and grows even higher this photon radiation along with the gamma radiation the plasma radiation their spirits that that energy that that they were created from can't survive this we're the only ones who can survive it because our bodies were designed to contain several several uh waves and 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 levels and 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 uh, uh plateaus of radiation and energy they can't do it this is why they're taking our organs and 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 trying to become us and trying to create who can trying to create us by scientific means which is completely and entirely impossible they cannot create us they're trying to create us by unnatural means when we are nature. We're nature. So 
it's important that we uh, begin to focus on our spiritual growth and focus on the power that's within us. Focus on us moving forward in life. It's important because what's getting ready to happen to these orc beings? <laughs> It's going to be something that you would have never imagined. Once they're gone, they're gone for good and there's no returning. That's why they have a second wave of their beings being created. They're somewhere in the Epsilon universe. Some dimension, some galaxy hidden on some planet. I just happen to get a glimpse of them. <laughs> I'll let you guys know that it'll be it'll and it'll be a few thousand years. It'll be a few thousand years, and we're going to lose track of time because it's going to be nothing but energy on the planet. But it's going to be a few thousand years before we ever see them again after they're completely wiped off. Because a lot of us are going to be immortals again. A lot of us are going to remember. All this stuff that happened, but we're going to be moving on through time. Some of our people are going to have to be reborn. Because they, they, their bodies won't be able to cope with the new energy because they refuse to awaken their spiritual energy. So they have to be reborn and nature will give birth to them all over again. But they're going to have a new life and a new energy, a new knowledge. OK, um, right now in the extra realm, these orc beings are dying rapidly. You can see it. You can see it in they walk. You see it in they talk. You see when they look at you, you see you can smell the stench of death on them. And they're steadily trying to cling on to life. But they don't belong here. I don't care how many laboratories they have on our planet. I don't care how many clones they try to create. Once that spirit realm is completely gone, once that, that spiritual death has come upon them and they have completely died off, there's no return. All their clones will be nothing but dead bodies and of course just like after they're all gone we're gonna have to clean our planet up and demolish all these buildings that's going to be left over break up all these grounds that they created these streets and all this stuff and we're gonna we're gonna have to you know we're gonna have to clean up the planet Burn it all down. A fire that's so powerful that it turns brick and, and, and metal into ash. We have to burn it all down and rebuild our planet from the ashes. So just know that there's no hope in the astral realm for these orc beings, which means that there's no hope in the physical realm for them also. And we, as we thrive in the astral realm, so do we thrive in the physical realm. All right. Keep yourselves powered up. Get yourself some crystals, some metals, some minerals. Get away from meat. Eat a number of vegetation. And allow yourself to, to, to constantly become powerful. All right, my brothers and sisters. It's good talking with you guys. All power to the multi-shocker people of Melanin. Peace to you all.